Hey guys, so in the last video tutorial we left off with um, our canvas just showing a block falling down, nothing too crazy. Now I want to create a click handler so that when we click on the block uh, it resets the Y position to zero. So to do that we need to make a click event handler for the canvas. So we'll go canvas dot add event listener and it will be a mouse down event and this expects a function and it passes through the event um, to get the um, so the first thing we actually need to do is just calculate where our mouse is clicking so to do that we can use the event dot client x and uh, so we can go var x position is equal to an x and var y. Let's just make this camel case is equal to client y. And then just log those. So we'll say x Cool, so now every time we click, we should see these being logged in our console. So we right click on Chrome, inspect, console, refresh this, and every time we click, then we'll see our X and Y positions. Now, this is relative to the window, not relative to the canvas. To make it relative to the canvas, we need to get the bounding client of the canvas. To do that, we need to say, var rect to canvas dot get bounding client rect and with the x pars and the y pars we can just say minus rect dot left and minus rect dot top so now Let's see. So, because you can see that um, there's a bit of a margin here, so it just doing this accounts for that. Cool. So, let's actually make this uh, its own function. So, we'll say function get mouse position, and it will need the event. We'll take this. I'll say get mouse position, take the event, and let's say var mouse position is equal to. So we need to return this. So instead of making these their own variables, what we could do is just return an object with an x, which would position, and a y position. console.log mouse position and there we go you have an object with x and y